what's up guys welcome back to the vgci channel and today i bring you the new format of vanguard okay so recently i've seen a lot of people because the english trial deck for uh uh but last last no, last play royal Paladins and kagero just came out so royal Paladins is featuring aichi sendo and kagero featuring kai toshiki obviously the trial decks just came out and the new booster uh, in english is obviously going to come out in one week's time so i just want to do this video very quick to explain to you what are the differences and what changed in vanguard so here i have my g format uh Thaba stack with some g cards in which i will explain to you why i've laid them out like this and then here we have my royal paladin uh, alfred koki uh, king of knights alfred deck and i'm going to explain to you guys what has changed in vanguard how does the format looks like now there is three types of format standard format premium format and g format so i just put it uh, down right in the video right here you can see so the differences between these three formats uh, the three new standard uh, imaginary gift which is excel force and protect I'll put it down there too so we're just gonna go through what's the difference okay so for standard let's just start standard so standard is the most easiest one it's called V series so the new series for Vanguard is called V for those that don't know so if you can see right at the bottom of each card there's this V sign and then this V T D O one or you can look at the bottom of any V B T O one so it will start off with a V sign instead of a G sign so for those uh, G format cards you start off with a G as you can see it's like G C B O two or you know you can look at it is G C B O or C B O two two but basically it uses G cards and the differences is just that one is G format and one is V format. So for standard, standard you are only allowed to actually use the V format cards. So you cannot include G cards into V format. So that's basically what standard. Alright, moving on to premium. So what means by premium means you can include both V and G cards. So let's just say I'm running... Um, you see I'm running uh, my Royal Paladin Alfred deck right here and let's just say I want to put in uh, Future Knight Liu right here because it runs well with the uh, deck so what we mean by premium is you can use new cards which is the new V cards with G and older cards so if you know Future Knight Liu uh, is not uh, G series but it's still before uh, before G series so it doesn't have the G over there but it's still like BT01 which is the first booster of Vanguard, I think in Japanese it looks really nice. But basically, if I want to include Liu into this deck, I can put it in deck, but it will change from a standard deck, which is purely only for V, into a premium deck, which means it includes G series cards and older, very old cards, which uh, doesn't have Gs, just V cards. So, this means, right, that premium is pretty much, uh, you can just use all the cards in the whole card fight Vanguard, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so moving on, we have the last, which is the G format, which means you are not allowed to use the V cards at all. You're just basically using the G cards, and that's about it. Alright, so following that, we're just gonna do a quick one. So as you can see, it's GBT14, so you only can use G cards. So after explaining the formats, we're just gonna move on to what are the new rulings. So I'm just gonna go through the new rulings first before I go through the new three imaginary gifts. So the new rulings are that when you mulligan means uh, mulligan means you know when you start off the game and then you shuffle your deck so you shuffle your deck and then you can see my imagery does a bit right there all right so you shuffle your deck and you just shuffle and then you your opponent cuts it let's just say he cuts it's fine he or she cuts it and then you look at the top five cards so three four five and then you look oh uh i since i have a great tree so i'll keep one i'll keep two and then i'll throw three back so usually last time the new rulings would be to put the three cards on top of the deck shuffle and then draw three but the new mulligan rulings would be to put the three cards whatever cards you shuffle at the bottom so put it at the bottom and then you draw three cards so draw three extra cards and then you shuffle your deck so that's how the new um, mulligan works how the new reshuffling works because they want you to not like draw the exact same cards back you have a lesser chance of drawing the same old cards back that you reshuffled so with the new cards you can see that oh okay i actually have a balanced great train great two and great one so right pongo followed by jargon followed by alpha early so it's pretty good i wouldn't mind that but it's just changed to the new uh rulings so thought you guys let uh, let you guys know. 
All right, moving on to the next most impactful ruling, which is the once per turn skill uh, change. So let's just put this aside first. So I'm going to talk about the once per turn change using uh, as above Adelaide. So Adelaide GB1 skill, when placed on Regard, count plus one, so plus one, it gives 2k if you have Tawas Vanguard. And then you can see that once per turn skill, this small purplish pinkish text says, at the end of this battle, the use unit attack a Vanguard, you may stand this unit. So what I would do, right, for the old ruling, so if I were to put, let's just say a Vanguard, uh, this is my Vanguard, followed by, let's just say a unit, I can put title right here, I can put Melania, I can put uh, place Adelaide here, all right. So let's just say this is my field, and then I would want to stride into Alexandros. Okay, where's my Alexandros? All right, so Alexandros' skill is very simple. Uh, count plus one with second or third. Uh, wave 2 or 3 Count plus 1 at the end of this unit battle um, You may choose one face down card from G zone to turn your face up And then choose 2 units and stand them And then they plus 5k for each face up card in your G zone Alright, so let's just say it's a fresh new strike I call Adelaide Count plus 1, so plus 1, use the skill Call down title, call down Melania So what you want to do is first you go with the first wave So Adelaide uh, attacking the Vanguard, so just nice 11k uh, hits. That's just it. The enemy is playing 11k Vanguard too, so it's just 5k guard. Followed by Tidal, which uh, you can't hit uh, the Vanguard because it's only 9k. But basically, you do not stand Tidal skill. So because Tidal skill is end of the uh, end of battle that this uh, unit attack the Vanguard, you may choose to stand it with the new once per turn rulings. All right, so you hit uh, whatever the opponent side, however, followed by Melania. Uh, no, sorry, followed by. Uh, Alexandros cause you need to be third wave, second or third wave. So first, sec first wave, second wave, third wave. Then end of the battle that is after drive checks, end of battle that is unit attack, count plus one. So you can stand both of them. So after that, right, you stand both. Then they both plus five, plus five. So usually, in the old rulings, when you when you miss time with this unit means. Uh, you don't choose to stand, you miss time on the once button skill. Sorry, I hit the camera. So you cannot use her skill, the once button skill, again during the, the autumn because you miss time, you already had the chance to use the skill, but you didn't use the skill. But with the new rulings, when I stand it with uh, Alexandros, I can attack. Yeah, it'll become 16k now with no triggers, let's just say, because 11 plus 5 when I use uh, Alexandros' skill to stand her, so stand. It becomes 16k and then I will proc her skill now which is the once button skill at the end of the battle that this unit attack the vanguard I may stand this unit so it's 16k and can attack again for another 10k guard so this is the new once button rule this is very impactful to some decks that has once button skills such as Victor uh, Tavas or you know some other decks that it really requires the rear guards to actually attack same for title assault so it's the same thing. I can choose not to stand at the title, uh, title assault after your attack. So basically, what it means is, I just say, um, I'm on my first wave, first wave, second wave. Usually, when title attacks at the end of battle that you attack something out, you have to stand title assault. If not, you will miss time and you can never stand title assault again until you know the next turn, your next turn. But now with the new one pattern rulings, I can just attack. Do not use his skill, do not want wish to proc his skill and then just attack with the Vanguard and then use Alexandra's skill, stand both of them and then after this attacks and stand and attack again you can use Alexandra's skill now because he plus 5 so it's 9 plus 5 is 14 14 then stand again because his skill is at the end of the uh, battle that is this unit attack Vanguard you may choose to stand it so I stand in minus 5k so you go back down to 9k and then you can just boost and you know attack the Vanguard or whatever for uh, 16k so yeah, that's basically what's the one button skill uh, rulings. It's just changed. It's really good. I love it um, because you know I run Tavas in this deck, uh, and then I run, I run Tavas. So it really helps with the one button skill. With let's just say uh, you can use with Adelaide, you can use with Tidal, you can even use with Autoria if I'm not wrong. The great one skill that allows you to withstand a rear guard. So. You can see that once per turn, you can just proc it anytime during your turn. You don't have to restrict it to uh, if you you know if you miss time the skill, you cannot use it until the end. Uh, you cannot use it for the rest of your turn. Yeah, that's basically. All right, so uh, moving on now to the new uh, V series. So I'm gonna explain the V series right now. So V series cards, you can see right here. I have almost all uh, very nice so the v series right uses three imaginary gifts so i will play it down aichi uh kai 
here, oops. Misaki and Kamui. So this is another three major gift you can see by the color differentiation. So these two are the same, obviously. Kind uh, I actually have the same gift, while Misaki and Kamui's are different. All right, let's move this out a little bit. All right, so you can see that they are color differentiated by yellow, blue, and green. So green will be protect, yellow will be excel, and then blue will be force. So the easiest way to remember is just that force is for clans that when you write to grade 3 and the grade 3 has a imaginary gift sign which I'll go through later, you may choose one of your force cards which is this card and place it onto a rear guard circle. So and all that units on that rear guard circle gains 10k. So let's just say I write into Dragonic Waterfall as we are right here, looks very nice. So I write into Dragonic All Waterfall and then I choose one card from my force which is supposed to where at the G zone is. You can just place it where your original G zone is and then just place it under the Vanguard. So you can place it on anywhere of the six circles that you have. So one, two, three, three front row, uh, three front row circles and then three back row circles. So you can place it on any one of the rear guard circles and then all the units on that rear guard circle gains 10k during your turn. So now I'm riding into uh, Dragonic Waterfall, you can see it's a 13k base, so if I do not prop the skill, it's just a 23k base during my turn because I have that Force Marker on it. So all the units in the Force Marker gains 10k. So 13 plus 10, which is the Force Marker, it goes to 23. And this applies to Legion as well. So if you want to play the premium format in which you can include G cards, you can include Legion cards, you can include B, T, O, 1 cards, I don't care, you can include all the cards basically. So you want a legion, you can use the legion, let's just say a legion with uh, some random card or whatever. Um, uh, any card, uh, let's just say this is whatever legion, uh, dragging over the, the grade or something. So you legion, I, I actually do have the grade LR, but basically legion, that means your legion mate, let's just say your legion mate gains the 10k power because it says that all the units on the circle, on this circle gains 10k power. So basically if you're legioning with 11 plus 9, let's just say it's a 20k, that means two units gain the extra 10k so it's actually a 40k attack if you think about it because 11 plus 9 then plus another 20 because 10 10 40k hits the vanguard so it's really good to run in premium but premium format i don't play because it's pretty effed up now due to silent tom combos and a lot of stupid combos they can do in premium format but yeah okay moving on we have uh kamui's uh not Kamui's, but Excel Circles. So Excel Circles is basically a free rear guard, extra rear guard circle. So you guys know that we only have uh, five rear guard circles and one vanguard circle. So let's just say a vanguard would be just take any, any card from here. Okay, I'll just take Tavas, alright. So Tavas can be a vanguard, I leave it here, so here and here. Let's just say, okay. So it should be like this, no, it should be like this, okay. So as you know, we got three front rear guard circles and three back rear guard circles. So what Excel circle is, is it gains an additional rear guard circle. So you can just place it anywhere like here. And then all the units on the Excel circle gains 10k. So you can, I can call an additional rear guard. Let's just say I call Stable Flow here. And Stable Flow gains 10k. So it's 18k attacker. That's not bad, right? So basically, that's basically what Excel is. It gives you an additional rear guard circle for Aqua Force in the new upcoming uh, EB02 if I'm not wrong in the V series where Aqua Force gains the Excel Circle basically you can call an additional front rear guard unit it must be front it can't be back opponents must be able to target the unit on the Excel Circle if they wish to so it must be front cannot be back so you can target uh, the unit and then basically it gives you four and an additional rear guard circle so now it makes uh, up to uh, five rear guard circles, uh, six rear guard circles, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one rear guard circle. So yeah, that's about it. That's for Excel. All right, uh, moving on to Protect. So Protect is very easy also. So basically, let's just say you ride into the Vanguard with a sign, with a imagine gift sign, let's just say I ride into Imperial Dollar. So right, the skill Excel Circle, Protect. So you can take one card face down uh, your force, if you give force and put it into your hand. So let's just say my hand is this. Alright, so what it does is protect X as a Kanzen guard. So, or perfect guard in English terms. So basically, it's just the same as 
this it has this card so called card name and all that so if you look closely it just says uh, sentinel so when your vanguard is being attacked on the enemy's turn you can just throw this down say oh protect discard one card from your hand and then the attack is completely nullified so yeah that's basically what the three imaginary gifts are the new three imaginary gifts so moving on to what to look up for uh, in some cards that has the imaginary gift so for Kamui's uh, VR, which is uh, uh, I, I don't know what what's the VR stand for. I don't forgot, but now my basically I'll, I'll put it there. What what, what does VR stand for? Um, how much VR is not Azar Kaiser's actually perfect riser in which I do not have. So obviously this is Azar Kaiser. You can just look up for this small circle right below the twin drive. This imaginary force circle, and then it'll be indicated yellow, which means Excel. So once you're right into Azure Kaiser or Perfect Riser, you can just place one of the markers down. And then for IT and Kai is four, so it's very simple. For Kai, you can differentiate by at the bottom of the twin drive. You can see there, um, imaginary gift force with the SVR waterfall, or you can write in the drawing on the overlord. You can just place the marker down. All the units in this in the regular circle gains 10k. For IT is the same. You can use uh, Alfred Early or King of Nice Alfred. You can see that Imagery give uh, force right over there. So you can just place it down, put it down. Oh, okay, I gain uh, 10k. And then the end of my turn. And then for Misaki, you just see this Imagery give force is indicated in greenish in color. Means protect. When you round top, you take one protect, put it in your hand. Your opponent knows that it's a protect, obviously, but you know, they might forget in some cases. Alright, so yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, hopefully this video isn't too long. I just want to make sure and clarify what are the new rulings, what is V-series, what's different between standard, premium, you know, this kind of formats. I hope you guys like this kind of content. I'll probably do more uh, in-depth uh, content in the future. If you guys want to comment down below what you want to see from my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy. So this is VGCI and I am out. Peace.